All right, everybody. So today I'm gonna to be showing you the SIS system insta installation um, on the ET8550. Um, so I've already, I, I originally had it in there and I took it back out because it was uh, just doing too much ink into the printer. Um, but right now I'm not getting, um, I, I'm having an issue with black and uh, cyan feeding. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna swap out the Scion and uh, um, uh, the black for the SIS system, all right? I'm not gonna do all the colors, just those two colors, um, because I'm, I'm gonna uh, swap these out because I have uh, tanks coming, so, or replacements coming for these, so. Uh, all right, so let's get. And I'm just gonna insert uh, a napkin in here. Um, right under the print head so it just can uh, just sit here um, under some uh, like solution and just kind of wet cap while I go through this process All right. cool. next I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start unscrewing uh, the screws um, on top of the uh, printer uh, there's about maybe five I gotta undo All right, once you get all the screws undone, then you're gonna try to uh, go ahead and lift up this part. Um, just be careful not to disconnect any of the cords um, from, the, from the sensors. So this piece right here, um, I took pliers. It was, it was, this, is a, this is where it came from. I took pliers and just peeled it off. Um, so now, now I have access to the parts. Uh, okay, so these these tubes feed into the cartridges or the tanks down below. They feed into these. So basically, what we're gonna do is just disconnect. Um, Dis disconnect these uh, disconnect these tanks the black and the cyan tank from uh, those from the from the feeding tube and then and then we'll connect the uh, cyst to it all right my bad guys my bad. all right so one other thing um, before we get started to get them out there are screws below here. There's another screw. You want to kind of lift it up to bring it out. All right, so I'm doing the same thing with cyan. Um, I'm just disconnecting the tube that's feeding into the tank. Just be gentle with it. Make sure not to rip it. I ripped uh, magenta's uh, cord before, so it is it is a little fragile. But uh, just try to just gently pull it off, and you should be good. All right, so once it's pulled off, then uh, just go ahead and pull the card out.
All right, so I have black and I have cyan. And if I remember correctly, So I just have the L-shape thing that comes off the assist, and I'm going to take that, put it under. So you're just going to feed it through to the other side. If you have tweezers, it's way easier. So once I've fed it through, then all I'm gonna do is connect the two tubes. So the white tube to the cis. back out just like that right. make sure it's in we're gonna do the same thing with black all right so I'm just gonna feed black through the same way I did cyan connect it to the white tube above put the two back in all right, and then once that's done, you're pretty much done. Um, you just need to start screwing everything back together that you took off. Okay, I'm not sure what you guys missed. Camera turned off, um, but all I did was uh, fill up the the black and the cyan. Um, now, I didn't fill it up all the way, um, just because I want to test it out first. Okay, so I got my inks filled. Um, I didn't fill them up all the way, and we're only doing uh, black and uh, cyan. So right now what I'm doing is in the back of the, the cyst, um, what I'm going to do is just pump some air. Oh. That's too much. Okay. There might Same thing. Yep, okay, there we go. And it may have been, you guys might have missed it because it's kind of hard to see since it's a little far away. Uh, all right, so I'm going to move you guys back. This is prior to putting the cis in. This is the colors I was getting. I was getting yellow, magenta, white. 
Um, and a little bit of, I believe, black. So now, there we go. Full colors, blue especially. Um, yellow, magenta, black, white. There we go. So that's the end product. I put the white on there. Um, I'm gonna print one without white just so you guys can see the coloring, but I think you guys kind of get it. Um, also my, uh, so the reason it's probably a little bit bluer um, is because either cyan is still feeding, overfeeding, or because my color is set really, really high um, from trying to perch uh, the printer from earlier so we're doing it again we're not printing color or uh, white on this one Check that out. That's the white one we printed. And this is the one we printed prior. It has white on it, um, but it also was only printing uh, magenta and yellow as well as white. So. down that's a sis and it connects right in this guy don't want to tilt it don't want to tilt but we're connected into there all right so it goes boop boop and angry muscle <laughs>